my channel everybody. In today's video we're going to be talking the Collection 2000 Press Powder in the shade 18 Ivory which costs $1.99. It's very cheap, very unaffordable but the best part is it's super pale too. If only makeup companies made foundations this colour, you know what, it'd be great but they don't. But they do make pressed powders. Um, so this is absolutely perfect for setting your foundation, keeping it in place, making sure it doesn't move and I like to apply it with just a powder brush. I have like an old DR powder brush. So you just kind of press it on the areas where you need a bit of extra coverage or you need your makeup to set, particularly under the eyes to hold in concealer maybe. And yeah, it lasts for 10 hours. It gives great um, hold and also it has UVA and UVB sunscreen in there as well. So it helps to protect your skin as well. But I just wanted to bring it to you because a customer asked me last week, I was working for L'Oreal and she said, what is the palest pressed powder that L'Oreal do? I'm sure because I have pale skin, I do actually get a lot of questions about, oh, what have you got on and everything like that. And I noticed that L'Oreal didn't have anything pale enough, so I took her over to the collection stand. Sorry, L'Oreal. I did sell a lot of products for that brand that day, so I'm sure they won't mind too much. And then I remembered after I showed her, I was like, I haven't even mentioned this on my channel, and my channel is for pale skin. Some powders, you put them on and it looks very powdery, it looks very cakey and very heavy. This is very discreet in what it does, but it really does work. Um, so I just really recommend it. I think the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, whatever the powder is, I know that a lot of people use it, but it doesn't start that pale. This starts at basically a translucent colour, and there's a lot of shades available depending on your skin tone, but for pale skin, it's really brilliant. So yeah, this is definitely one to keep in your staple collection, and it's really affordable too. So if you have any other pressed powder recommendations for pale skin, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video.